In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Let's begin our celebration by pausing for a while. Call to mind all our sins and all our failures, and ask God for forgiveness and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of art. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, we pray, may be so conformed to the Paschal observances that the bodily discipline now solemnly begun may bear fruit in the souls of all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, if the wicked man turns away from all the sins he committed, if he keeps all my statutes and does what is right and just, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of the crimes he committed shall be remembered against him. He shall live because of the virtue he has practiced. Do I indeed derive any pleasure from the death of the wicked, says the Lord God? Do I not rather rejoice when he turns from his evil way that he may live? And if the virtuous man turns from the path of virtue to do evil, the same kind of abominable things that the wicked man does, can he do this and he still live? None of his virtuous deeds shall be remembered, because he has broken faith and committed sin. Because of this, he shall die. You say, the Lord's way is not fair. Hear now, house of Israel, is it my way that is unfair, or rather are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit iniquity and dies, it is because of the iniquity he committed that he must die. But if the wicked, turning from the wickedness he has committed, does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life, since he has turned away from all the sins that he committed, he shall surely live, he shall not die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness that you may be revered. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? I trust in the Lord, my soul trusts in his word. My soul waits for the Lord more than sentinels, Wait for the dawn. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Please stand. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make yourselves a new heart and a new spirit.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says to his brother Raka will be answerable to the Sanhedrin, and whoever says you fool will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po ulit sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. Siguro naman narinig nyo na yung joke na kwento, no, nung sasabihin ng limbawa ng nanay sa kanyang anak o anak, bantayin mo itong ulam nasa lamesa, baka kainin ng pusa, tignan-tignan mo alis mo na yung nanay nandun yung bata, tignan-tignan nga yung ulam nakatingin yung pusa, kinain yung ulam nakatingin pa rin yung bata tapos sasabihin ng nanay anong nangyari, bakit pinabaya mong kainin ng pusa yung ulam sabi mo tignan-tignan, tinignan ko lang eh, kinain, nakita ko, <laughs> pero wala nangyari. So, yun yung kind of story, of course, I'm pretty sure that, I don't know kung nangyari ngayon, no? Pero, yun yung klase ng kwento na, o klase ng pag-iisip na ginagawa lang kung ano yung sinasabi ng bibig. Tignan mo, yun, tinignan. Hindi naisip ng bata na metaphorical yung pagtingin. Ibig sabihin, bantayan mo. Huwag mong pabayaan mo masayang ma at kainin ng pusa o ng aso. Bantayan mo. Ang pakinig lang ng bata, salita ng bibig. Hindi narinig ng bata yung utos ng puso at ng diwa at ng damdamin ng kanyang nanay. Bantayan mo. Parang anyway, ganito yung sinasabi sa atin ng, ano, ng gospel ngayon. Sinasabi sa atin ni Jesus, Your righteousness, yung pagiging mabuti ninyo, should surpass the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. Bakit? Kasi yung scribes and Pharisees, hindi naman sila masasamang tao. Hindi naman sila masasamang tao. Hindi naman sila gumagawa ng masasama talaga. Hindi naman pumapatay ng tao. Hindi masasama, hindi naman nagnanakaw. Hindi masasama. Kaya lang, dahil masyado sila nakafocus dun sa rules, lahat sa kanila ay yung bawal. Alam na, alam na ako yung bawal, huwag kang gaganito, huwag kang papatay, huwag kang mag, uh, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not, you know, do not tell lies. Alam nila lahat yun, bawal, bawal, bawal. At yun ang ginagawa nila. At tinitignan nila yung mga tao na gumagawa, oh, bawal yan, bawal yan, bawal yan. Pero puro bawal. Ang sinasabi ni Jesus sa atin, sa gospel, surpass the righteousness of the bawal. Kung gusto mong magpakabait, kung gusto mong magpakaayos, kung gusto mong maging mabuti at tunay na anak ng Diyos, tagasunod ni Kristo, isang mabuting Kristiyano, do something more. Huwag lang umiwas sa masama. Huwag lang umiwas sa kasalanan. Iwas ka sa, ma sa masama, iwas ka sa kasalanan, pero gumawa ka rin ng mabuti. Do something good. Don't just avoid sin or avoid evil. Do something good. Gumawa ka ng mabuti. 
Yun ang sinasabi sa atin ng Panginoon. Hindi pwedeng puro lang iwas sa masama, iwas lang sa bawal. Eh, itong mga, itong mga Pharisees na sinasabinanggit niya, eh, napaka ma, ano yan, ma, suspichoso, ma, demanding, judgmental, lahat tinitingan, lahat tayo, um, inaakusa ang mga tao sa paligid. Naubos yung panahon, naubos yung energy, ka ako sa tinitignan kung sino yung mali, kung ano yung mali, kung ano yung ginawa ng mga taong kasalanan. Wala namang ginawa na mabuti. We should surpass the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees. At nag-focus dito sa gospel, nag-focus ang Panginoon sa reconciliation. Kaya nga sabi niya, hindi lang enough yung wag papatay. Dahil kapag you begin to hate, kapag nabwisit ka ng sobrang galit mo sa isang tao at talagang kinamumuhian mo na, gusto mo nang mamatay, eh parang pinatay mo na rin. Surpassing the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees. Doing more. Ano ibig sabihin? Huwag ka lang, huwag ka lang hin- umiwas sa away. Gumawa ka din ng mabuti. Kaya nga, ang focus niya ay sa reconciliation. Kaya nga sabi niya, Bago ka mag-alay, ng, mag-alay sa altar, kung may na-realize nga meron palang galit sa itong isang tao, meron ka palang atraso sa kabila, may atraso sa ganito, makipag-ayos ka muna. Makipag-ayos. Ganun ka-importante ang reconciliation. Ganun ka-importante na lahat tayo maayos ang tinginan sa isa't isa. Walang galit. Hindi, bawal ba magalit? Hindi naman. Huwag mo lang itatanim. Kasi pag tinanim mo yung galit, magbubunga. At ang bunga niyan, mapait. Maasim. Mapakla. Huwag mo itatanim ang galit. Paraanin mo lang. Huwag mong pastambayin. Paraanin mo lang yung galit. Natural kasi mo galit, di ba? Kapag may ginawang hindi tama, may nagkamali, magagalit at magagalit ka. Eh, huwag kang titigil sa pagkakagalit. Lampasan mo. Be reconciled. Do not verbally insult. Sabi niya, do not verbally insult others. Huwag mo tawaging raka. Ibig sabihin, walang laman ng utak. Huwag mo tawaging fool. Tanga. Huwag mo ita- huwag ang tatawag na ganyan. Kanaka-insulto yan. Sabi mo ang tao, walang laman ng utak. Siyempre meron, di ba? Tao yan, natututo yan. So, kinakailangan maging mag-reconcile. mag-reconcile. At ngayon, bilang Lent, It's a time of reconciliation. It's a time for us to reconcile not only not only with God. Dali yun, di ba? Kasi alam natin, mapatawarin ng Diyos eh. Maawain. But to reconcile with one another. Kasi pag-isipan na pwede natin pag-isipan. Ano ba mga nagawa kong hindi tama? Ano ba, paano ba ako nakasakit sa iba? Sana makapag-reconcile, kung hindi man sa kanya mismo, sa ating sarili, nangingin ang tawad sa Diyos. Pero mas maganda kung doon sa tao na yun. Well, kung, di, kung nag-uusap naman na, di okay na. At even more importantly, ano kang mga hindi magandang ginawa ng ibang tao sa akin? Ano ang mga, mga atraso ng ibang tao sa akin? Baka mga 20 years ago pa yung atraso na yan, hanggang ngayon, kinikip-kip mo pa. Move on na. Reconcile. Be more than the, be, be more righteous than the scribes and Pharisees. Reconcile. Makipag-ayos. Bago dumating yung bago maging huli ng lahat. Makipag-ayos. Habang may panahon pa. And ngayon ang panahon. Ngayon ang panahon para sa reconciliation. Let's take advantage of it. Let us all stand down. There is so much bitterness and hatred among people, so much enmity and strife. Let us ask God for the power to be healers and reconcilers. After each petition, we say, Father, bless us with peace. Father, bless us with peace. That the church may become an instrument of reconciliation, forgiveness, healing, and peace to warring peoples and nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us with peace. 
that government officials may initiate programs that will promote justice, peace, and unity among peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us with peace. That we may avoid revenge of violence and strife on account of differences, ideologies, or creed. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us with peace. That all of us may learn to forgive from our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us with peace. That those who are sick in mind and body may find a spiritual healing through forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us with peace. Let us pray for our own personal intentions and for the special intentions of this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Father, bless us with peace. God our Father, help us to look at one another with your own eyes, that we may accept and build up one another for your sake. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, by which, in your power and kindness, you willed us to be reconciled to yourself and our salvation to be restored through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feasts with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world, of the world have, mercy have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. 
Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the holy refreshment of your sacrament restore us anew, O Lord, and cleansing us of old ways, take us up into the mystery of salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look with favor on your people, O Lord, that what their observance outwardly declares, it may inwardly bring about, through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We shall now bless the sick and your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection, of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary. May all these articles be blessed, and those who use them made holy, as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.